Good afternoon. By transforming raw video into actionable intelligence, BriefCam dramatically shortens the time to target for security threats while increasing safety and optimizing operations. Following the session, you'll be prompted to join the live Q&A. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Muhammad and I'll be your presenter today. We are the technology that allows you to review videos fast, hence the name BriefCam. Uh, for the purposes of this uh, presentation, I will walk you through the demo. We invented and, uh, and owned the worldwide patents for the video synopsis solution. This analytic feature allows organizations to review hours of video in minutes, sometimes even seconds. But we are so much more than that. We have a platform approach to video analytics BriefCamp's uh, solution is a trifecta of complementary solutions, empowering users to transform video into actionable intelligence. BriefCamp uniquely fuses computer vision and deep learning technologies, making videos searchable, actionable, and quantifiable. What you see right now in front of you is uh, our, our thin client. We don't have a fat client, it's a server client architecture. And as you can see, I'm using my Google Chrome and I will be logging into the system uh, with my servers being in the US through my browser, through my Chrome browser. And as simple as that, with my credentials, I'm able to log in and uh, it always opens up to our review module. As I previously mentioned, it's a trifecta. The better together paradigm works well with us and how we do it is we've got the review module, the respond module and the research module. Um, for the first part of my presentation, I will stick to the review module. I like to uh, go from an outside in perspective and I will start with a city planning video. So let's take a highway scene. As you can see that this is a highway scene and um, as, the, as the video starts rolling, the first thing I'd like to do is stop the video right here and show you um, that all the objects on the screen have a timestamp and the timestamp is uh, 957 on this object and 1022 on this object and and both of them are right next to each other and this is uh, this is brought about because of our patented video synopsis software which uh, removes the dead space between all the objects and presents it in one clean screen um, this video, as you can see, is about 19 minutes long, but we are able to show all the objects of the video within seven minutes and 47 seconds. And that's the time to target, which is what really helps law enforcement. Now, um, besides that, we have 28 different filters and classes. So it could start with the source, the time range, the class of the objects that are available in the video, the attributes of, uh, of these objects, color, size, speed, and so on and so forth. To exemplify this, let me try and, and have some fun with this video. So what are the intelligence that was available to us is <clears throat> that the, it's a car and this car is red in color and what you can see right now is within a couple of clicks what I have been able to do is exemplify uh, that and as the video is loading up my apologies because of uh, the server being in the US um, as the video loads up what you will see is out of 3488 uh, objects there are 272 red vehicles in the scene and now that we have all the red objects in the scene now what I will do is I have uh, I have complete control of the scene and we and the officers wanted to know which were the illegal cars that were driving over the shoulder I drive I drive a quick uh, arrow and next thing you know all the all the cars that were driving illegally on the shoulder are, are depicted in this scene and there were 37 of them at this point i'd like to see, change the scene a little bit and uh, move on to showing you objects such as people because that, that's another really important factor uh, the time to target for uh, for people now in this scene we were told that there's a there's a woman who's wearing a backpack and blue pants and uh, if you can find her please so sure enough we i chose a woman 
So everybody that's not a woman on the scene has been uh, has been removed. Um, the other thing I did was uh, put the backpack on her, and uh, we were even told that she was wearing a hat. And within a couple of clicks, out of two hundred and twenty six objects, you have the one person who fits the description. She's wearing a hat. She's wearing a backpack, and she's wearing uh, blue pants. And that's how we know. That's how quickly we can get to the time to target. At this point, um, I would like to move on to our respond module, just to show you uh, how it works on our respond module. So here comes our respond module. So everything that you saw, all the 28 classes and filters that you saw on, on, on our review forensics module, now we have the ability to create these rules so that live alerts could take place and we could be notified up to the minute. So um, the way to do it in BriefCam is uh, we have to create a rule. The first, the first thing that we do is we've got uh, three types of alerts. We could have real-time alerts, which is basically alerts uh, uh, that go into that go in, that are triggered within five seconds of us creating the rule. This is for emergency uh, emergency situations. This is for situational analysis or of an event that's happening right now. So uh, in these rules, so let me go into that one. So first thing I do is I I call it a name. So this rule was on City Road, for instance. Click on next. I choose City Road, which is the camera that is there. I click on Next, and now I have several options. I have an option to continuously run this in real time. I have an option to then run this video once, uh, or run this rule once, from a certain uh, date to a certain date, from a certain time to a certain time. I have the option to run it daily, or I have the option to run it on, on certain days of the week uh, from a certain time to a certain time. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll, I'll stick to continuous. And now I have the option because this is, again, it's, it's an emergency situation. It's a quickly we need to take an action. So the information that was received was it's a two-wheeled vehicle that we're look, going to look for. And uh, as soon as any two wheel vehicles shows up in this scene, um, we will be notified. I will click on create and automatically this rule has been created and now we have this rule. Uh, furthermore, I have the option to share this rule with other officers if I needed to uh, or some other security personnel or I have the option to also duplicate these rules on other cameras and I can duplicate the rule as well. If I were to go back to uh, creating another rule, uh, with more time on my hands, now I can have a more detailed rule uh, in place. And I would do that by let's create city road rule number two. So my previous options shows up and I have the ability to then just edit it. Sorry about that. And just edit it. City rule number two, click on next. I will choose the rule again, and this time I'm going to keep it continuous as well, but I want to have several other rules uh, in place. So I don't want anyone to be driving uh, or riding their bicycles on, on the pavement because that's for pedestrians only. So I'm going to click on an area and I'm going to say if any bicycles show up in this area, please notify us so that we, are, we can take corrective action. That would be one. What I also want to do is have a line crossing rule in play where anyone driving on the wrong side of the road should also notify us and I'll click on apply. And lastly, uh, I will choose bicycles because that's what I want this rule to display. And one click of a button, I create this rule. And uh, now all these rules are in play. Last but not the least is our people counting rule, and this is because of the uh, healthcare hazard, uh, the healthcare uh, healthcare situation at this point, and we've created that uh, as a as an occupancy tool of sorts. At this point, I would like to now move on to our research module, which is depicted over here. Now, our research module, our business intelligence tool is our most uh, advanced tool. Uh, it's, it's one of those things that are actually really, really impressive. So what we do is you've got, you've got the forensics tool and you've got the, 
you've got the uh, real-time analysis, but now uh, it, it, we can give you behavioral and trend analysis. So all that video footage that has been recorded, now that's generating data for us. So for instance, this is a, a, a retail scene. And as you can see in this retail scene, uh, everything is is uh, responsive to my moves for instance if i click on women it will automatically change the data and show us all the average counts of how many women were there in and what were their buying habits if i were to switch the gender to men then automatically men and women would show and i can even switch off women and just show the data of men and everything you see here will correspond to that and respond again all those filters are are in play again and you can see that uh, these filters can be used to generate this uh, visual data if i were to reset all these figures now this was a retail this was a, a retail uh, dashboard out of the box we have 19 different dashboards based on different verticals that you might need for instance um, we have consumer traffic and sales analysis we have shopper analysis we have shopping mall analysis and uh, if i were to go briefly into the shopping uh, area analysis you can actually see we have the ability to ingest an external say uh, external source such as the point of sale data and we can ingest that and, co and collaborate with the video data and present both to you so you both are, are now visible and you can do trend analysis for for instance we see that between 1 and 2 p.m uh, the highest number of sales and, and the number of shoppers are, are there uh, at the store. But towards the end of the store and towards the end of uh, the night, you've got the, the sales go down, but the number of shoppers are still uh, quite high. So, so that is, is a place that we can actually study, we can actually go into and find out what, what are the reasons behind it, why do shoppers not like to shop uh, towards the end of the night, and why in between one and two, um, it's uh, the, the busiest times for the store. Um, furthermore, if I were to go into other other uh, templates, you can see we have the building occupancy tool, which is uh, for our COVID situation. We have uh, we have a smart city tool, we have a smart city board uh, dashboard. We have a license plate uh, traffic violations board. We have a vehicle identification board with uh, the class of vehicles and their corresponding number uh, number plates. Um, and I have the ability to export at one click of a button. I have the ability to export um, all the all the number plates of uh, the objects in the vehicle. So with that, I would like to end my presentation. Thank you very much for joining us. This was Mohammed from uh, Briefcam. For more information, please reach out to us on info at briefcam.com. And here they come. Attendees flooding in, having just watched the video there. Uh, welcome everyone to IFSEC Tech Talks, October the 6th, 2020. My name is David McClelland and joining me is Mohammed from Briefcam. You've just been hearing his voice and seeing uh, his product in action there in the video. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do, Mohammed, given that we have some people uh, joined already and some more people still joining. Why don't we just uh, kick off this Q&A session? Um, for anyone who hasn't watched the video or maybe joined a little bit late, what would be good if you could give us that uh, that million mile view of, uh, of what Briefcam is, uh, what it does, what its main value propositions to our audience today are? Sure, absolutely. Thank you very much, David. Um, Briefcam, we are the technology that allows you to review hours of video within minutes, sometimes even seconds, hence the name Brief Cam. Mm -hmm. We invented and own the worldwide patents to this technology. And this analytic feature allows organizations to review hours of minutes. Um, what we are, but we are so much more than that. We have a platform approach to video analytics. BriefCam's solution is a trifecta of uh, complementary solutions empowering users to transform video into actionable intelligence. BriefCam uniquely fuses computer vision, deep learning, uh, making videos searchable, actionable, and quantifiable. Okay. Okay. So um, I get the I, I get the outcome. What actually, if I buy some BriefCam? 
if I come knocking mm -hmm. on your door in, in Dubai and say, hey, can I have some brief cam, please? What is it you're mm -hmm. giving to me? Am I getting a box? Am I getting um, some so a link to some software I'm going to install on a server of my own? What does it actually look like? So it's actually going to be the software that goes on to your server. Um, what happens is we, we complement your currently installed CCTV uh, solution. So we add a layer of intelligence to it. So hours and hours of videos are being recorded at all times, but nobody has the time to actually go through that and watch every single second of it. What we do is we take all of that and um, just like in the video, it was a 90 minute video and we truncated it down to seven minutes and 47 seconds. If I were to ask you, David, do you have seven minutes and 47 seconds? You'll say, sure. But 90 minutes is a bit of a stretch. No, we, uh, we, we don't have 19 minutes to go through the <laughs> questions and answers right now. Seven, seven and a half minutes, we're, we're about right. Um, speaking of questions for our viewers at home or in the office, wherever you are watching, um, please do pop some questions into the Q&A. It's those that will keep this session as relevant to you as possible. Even if you don't have a question straight away, you see another question that you like, stick a thumbs up in there so we can try and prioritise that one. We do have a question already. Um, Let's tackle that. So do you think end users now truly understand the possibilities of video analytics? And what do you think the main driver has been for this? So yeah, possibilities of the video analytics that you're talking about. Where, where, where's that come from? Where's it going? Right. So video analytics, just like uh, just like everything else, has been has been uh, maturing over time. In the brief time that I have been with the company, and that's that's about ten months now, I can honestly see that the market uh, there's a real appetite for it. Um, one of the things that has actually brought us to the forefront and al almost made us essential in the industry is uh, COVID. And uh, mm -hmm. there was a real demand for COVID features such as uh, um, social distancing, such as uh, face mask detection and uh, crowd control, uh, limiting the occupancy of a building. So, and more and more end users are like, okay, we need to get back to business. We need to get back and we need to make sure that our employees, that our customers, everybody's safe. And how, how, how well can we do that? How can we manage that without, with, with taking the human error element out of it. And uh, the best way to do it is video analytics. Yeah, funnily enough, we mentioned COVID and the questions start pouring in. So uh, <laughs> again, just looking at the panel here, um, sure. do you have any case studies to share where it's being used at the moment, installations, countries at the moment? And um, alongside that, COVID, what COVID use cases do you see sticking around in a post-COVID world? Absolutely. So let me uh, let me uh, tackle the first part of it. Um, we well, we can't really share the information of who our end users are going to be, but I can honestly say I take care of uh, nine to ten different countries, and uh, I can I can say I'm tackling at least four or five projects from each country, and and that has all happened in about the last ten months. So if, wow. if that gives you any idea of how uh, popular we are, that's yeah. one way of doing it. Um, post COVID, um, uh, so I don't think face masks are going away anytime soon. Uh, it is a general requirement. I mean, with uh, what we were talking about right before the Q and A started, with peaks uh, experience, with peaks being experienced in literally every country out there, there is a real dedication towards wearing face masks and detection of that and adherence to that. Post COVID, let's just say social distancing is going to be one of those tools that we are going to be using to to make sure that even. Um, even after COVID, you're, you're going to be needing that for um, as, as simple as piggybacking, as simple as maintaining security protocols, because if two people try to gain access to uh, a certain establishment and they're too close to each other, we can use the social distancing tool to say, this guy is trying to piggyback and trying to gain entrance into something uh, yeah. where he's not been already verified. Tailgating or, or whatever. Tailgating, yeah. 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 Okay, okay, interesting stuff. Um, another thing that obviously for, for a European audience, but with worldwide applicability, GDPR, you know, we're, we're talking about uh, collection of personally identifiable information. So, so tell me about GDPR compliance with BriefCam and, and your video synopsis tool. Absolutely. So BriefCam, uh, the software is completely GDPR compliant product. Uh, 
And uh, we have included tools that can help you in your compliance efforts with GDPR. So we support you and we're there for you when it comes to GDPR compliance. Great, thank you very much. Um, let's let's talk Turkey. Let's talk about money. How? Uh, what's the business model? What's how do you charge for it for any potential customers? Sure. So Briefcam has several pro uh, products, uh, and they vary upon uh, uh, pricing depending upon the product and the deployment requirements. For law enforcement, of course, they 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 are the the, the cream of the crop, and they need all the sorts of whistles and bells. But uh, for uh, let's say the median crowd, um, I would say the insights package is a base of thirty thousand dollars MSRP where uh, it's a base license of 100 channels uh, with 10 floating licenses with our business intelligence tools with uh, uh, 20 out of the box uh, uh, templates that uh, businesses can use to quantify and uh, make operational decisions. And if there is more requirement than, than that, then we have a, a, a per channel price, which is uh, roughly amounts to for forensics, it's 250 US dollars MSRP. And for live analytics, for, so that you can that you have uh, control over your situational awareness, we're looking at about a thousand dollars per license MSRP. Tell me a bit about about Briefcam. You know, we we were chatting a few moments ago before we went live mm -hmm. with the Q and A, and and you're based over there in in Dubai. Uh, just just tell me a bit more about the bigger Briefcam company, so people know who it is they might be engaging with. Okay. So uh, Briefcam is a, a, a video analytics uh, tool provider. Our, cl our claim to fame was uh, there was an event. Uh, unfortunately, it was a sad event that happened. And um, uh, law enforcement needed our uh, efforts and our software because they wanted to bring the bad guys to, to fruition. Um, the way that it happened was uh, this police department had 59,000 hours of video footage. And if they had wow. dedicated... 10 of their uh, detectives watching every bit of video footage for uh, uh, six months straight, it would take them um, that amount of time. Um, no one has six months to watch 12 hours a day video footage of 59,000 hours. They employed Briefcam and we were able to give them uh, 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 or point out to the actual culprits within a matter of 48 to 72 hours. And that's wow. the sort of intelligence that we provide. So in, if you want your um, cities uh, safe, if you want uh, uh, to have operational intelligence, if you want to uh, add, uh, add uh, safety and security based on our COVID features, then we are the people to reach out to and we can help you maximize your efforts. Okay, last few questions. We've got a live one there, but just to follow on from my last question, uh, tell me about integration. What, what VMSs, video management systems are currently supported? What are the hardware requirements? Do you need specific GPUs in order to perform your analysis and so on? Sure, absolutely. We have architected uh, our platform to ensure seamless integration with not just VMSs, but um, uh, physical security information management systems, the PSIM providers, the command and control systems, and absolutely, uh, of course, with video management systems. Out of the box, Briefcam provides more than about 20 uh, different plugins with the leading VMS providers. And uh, currently, uh, just to name a few, I mean, the uh, Vigilance, the Access, the Bosch, the Digiford, the Genetics, okay. the the milestone and so on and so forth so definitely quite a bunch good coverage there um i think we've got time for one more question here um so uh, in a busy working environment such as a 24 7 work, work warehouse for S fmcg where people and vehicles are relatively similar how mm -hmm. detailed can you get in order to detect what or who you need to does what you're looking for have to stand out somehow in a scenario such as this. So I guess this is talking a lot about the um, accuracy of your detection of your identification capabilities. Sure, I think it's also um, um, touching on some other subjects that I'll also like to point out. Okay. Um, in terms of accuracy, it's about 90% plus. And with every release of the software, there are four releases of the software. We maintain that accuracy and we keep, because it's a deep learning, uh, deep neural network uh, uh, platform, we keep enhancing it and we keep teaching it uh, how, to, how to get that accuracy level up to 90% and above. Um, what I can also help uh, this gentleman in this FMCG is 
is because first off, uh, we have uh, 28 out of the box. We have 28 different classes and attributes where um, we can, we can uh, help you with the gender of the person they're looking for, a person of interest, whether it was a child or an adult, whether it was a two-wheeled vehicle or uh, a motorized vehicle, what is, whether it was a car, pickup, bus, van, trucks. Um, so we have the ability to, to distinguish all of those, even to a plane and, and trains for that matter. Um, but not just that, when it comes to people and uh, specifically to people, we can filter out by, um, by their upper wear or lower wear. We can filter out by um, uh, long sleeves or short sleeves, whether it was long wear or short wear, uh, 12 uh, different colors individually, and you can have tw uh, all of those 12 colors combined. So if you have somebody who's wearing a pink top with a purple uh, scarf, you can put those colors in and you would be able to search uh, that directly uh, for that person. So definitely we can help them out in that sort of a busy environment. Powerful stuff. Um, unfortunately, we are out of time for right now, Mohammed. But um, if anyone wants to find out more, uh, maybe pop some further questions to you or, or browse your materials for themselves, where would you suggest is the best place for them to go? Sure. Um, with BriefCam on your side, cameras can do so much more and uh, we can help you with uh, uh, your suspects, your competition, your uh, situational challenges. To reach out to us, please visit us on www.briefcam.com forward slash resources. Uh, that would be the best place to reach out for more brochures, uh, little videos, blog posts, case studies. And uh, you can always get in touch with me or any one of my colleagues on info at briefcam.com. Dot com and we'll be very happy to help you fantastic mohammed from brief cam thank you very much indeed for joining us today everyone watching at home thank you for joining us as well for all of your questions we'll be carrying on with our next tech talk in uh, two or three minutes time we'll be hearing from csl hope to see you there mohammed hope to see you again soon bye for thank now. you bye bye